start off with the daily graphic. It says, delay in road projects institute payment policy within 56 days. Auditor General directs uh, the Highway Authority, a story by Timothy in Nengbe. And also, ADB presents prize money to 2019 National Best Farmer. Over 1,300 savings and lowest customers uh, accounts credited. You know that government has released some 5 billion cities to settle them. So 1,300 so far. Dredging works at Takradi Harbor begin. Central University cuts off for construction of 38-bed clinic. The Ghanaian Times this morning reports that um, Parliament begins SONA debate, but minority declines to participate. CSO's platform of SDGs define a role in Ghana beyond aid. ADB presents... 536,000 Ghana cities check, price to 2019 National Best Farmer. Mr. Kloche and uh, Jonathan Syme of ADB, good morning to you. A flat toxin menace, EU countries reject Ghana grains. Dredging work begin on uh, Takradi Port Basin. And on the back page, workshop on negative impact of illegal fishing held at Fijai. The Finder newspaper this morning reports that we didn't receive the monies. That's what uh, some supposed get fund beneficiaries are crying about. All 3,112 uh, 3, names and amounts must be published. Who's making that call by the Finder and find out. Support Kufuado to do more upon Nkrumah yesterday in Parliament. Accountant General to meet migrate payrolls of public universities onto IPPD2 next month. A national best farmer receives prize money from ADB. NHI pays service providers over 91 million Ghana cities in claims for 2020. And uh, Daily Guide. Okujeto lies exposed. MP charges on Domelovo in Get Fund audit. 40 Zongo youth get Cuba scholarship. No fraud in EC tender. And NPP MP berates NDC MPs for SONA debate. And also the front page um, of the Business 24 is an online newspaper. It says 10 new airports coming. Uh, some 24.7 million Ghana cities earmarked for feasibility studies. Also 5 billion Ghana cities depositors pay out released and uh, 200 million dispersed to 800 accounts so far. So 1,300, which is the actual figure, we'll find out. Government structured uh, agric initiatives yielding results. Akufuado. My guest this morning is Mr. George AC. He's the National Communications Director of the National Disaster Management Organization, NATMO. He's my guest. Hey, George, good morning. How are you doing? Good, Johnny. Good to have you. What's that? Oshie, yeah, now Oshie, Oshie, pa. Uh, thank nice you. Nice one. So <laughs> let's start off uh, from from Media General's uh, launch of the Election Command yeah. Center. The story is uh, somewhere in the graphic. I'll find it quickly. But yesterday, I'm sure you know that a big announcement was made, and we told those who have not heard yesterday that Media General conglomerates the operators of TV3, 3FM, Connect FM, Akuma FM, 3news.com, uh, Unia TV as well, has launched the 2020 election coverage program with a pledge to help deepen the peace in the country. Dubbed Election Command Center, the program will provide Ghanaians with a comprehensive st uh, coverage of the 2020 general elections and other related activities across media general platforms. The company operates uh, all the stations I mentioned to the earlier. President at the launch were the representatives from the Graphic Communications Group, uh, Mr. Soa. Uh, also in attendance were the Australian High Commissioner to Ghana, Mr. Andrew Barnes, uh, Deputy Minister for Information, Mr. Pius Enam Hajide, the Chairman of the National Media Commission, Lawyer Yao, Boedouaya Boafo, the president of the GJA, Mr. Roland Afilmoni, uh, a, a member of the uh, board member of the National Peace Council, Reverend Dr. Ni Abu da, uh, Daku, that was also the representative of the National Chief Imam Sh uh, Sheikh Arimeya, and many other uh, dignitaries. I saw Honorable Suhini there yesterday and, and all of that. George, you tell me, how does this come to you? We're calling for peace. I'm sure you are calling for peace as well. But do you see the events leading up to the elections as being peaceful? But first, let's talk about the launch. 
Yeah, <clears throat> let me say good morning to you, your production crew, and your viewers. If you permit me, let me say a belated happy birthday to Central Regional Women Organizer okay. of the MPP, Madame Ajoa. Uh, many, many happy returns to you, uh, okay. Madame. Yeah, uh, I must doff my hat to the media general uh, conglomerates. Uh, you are doing so very well, mm -hmm. and you take national issues uh, as a priority issue uh, on your programs, okay. and, and I'm very excited and happy about that. You seem to be... Uh, as incontestable, oh, the leading <laughs> <laughs> media we're, house. We're number in, one, according to Joe Yes, Paul, so. yes, uh, in the country. And it's right that you decide to take the unity, the cohesion, the understanding, the peace of the people of this country and the country itself mm -hmm. as a priority issue. And so when you launched the uh, election command center, I was excited. And when I saw the individuals who were present, mm -hmm. uh, I said, well, uh, uh, TV3 and the media general group mm. by serious team. And it's to send a signal to all of us, all of us, that uh, elections are peers for us to determine who leads us, okay? And it's nothing but that. And who leads us to take command, the commanding heights of the management of this economy, okay? And these people. And so we don't need to fight. Right. We go and then, but you, 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 why you did that is to tell all of us mm. that we don't need to engage in acrimony. Uh, we, you bring us here to have discussions mm. on national mm. issues. That is what it should be. We right. don't need to take cudgels, <laughs> machetes, and cutlasses right. at each other because we're family, okay? We're mm -hmm. brothers. There mm -hmm. are certain times you get entangled in a situation and the next person who is helping you is from the other side, right. okay? Right. He's the one picking the phone to call somebody uh, to give you that helping hand. Mm -hmm. And so uh, I, I doff my hat to uh, TV3 and Media General mm -hmm. for what you did. And I entreat all of us, especially yeah. we the stakeholders and the participants mm -hmm. or players in the field of the politics our game uh, to uh, heed the call from the various speakers, uh, including my own council member, me, Dr. Amuda, uh, 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 is a member <coughs> of the NAD, uh, NADMO Council. Okay. And then one man I love in this country so much, Sheikh Arimiyal. Yeah. And so all of them, all the distinguished people. Uh, and then I salute your CEO and, and the, the board uh, for thinking about it. And, mm -hmm. and we know, we know TV3, once you've launched it, right. you're going to sustain the process exactly. and then check everybody exactly. till we get to election. Exactly. Election is about uh, showing, uh, mm -hmm. uh, determining our preferences Mm -hmm. and on who leads the, the, the word on the street is that, yes, the politicians will come and say, oh, yes, we pledge to peace, we, we agree to it, we believe in, in peace, and we must not be acrimonious and all of that. Then, in the run-up to the elections, on election day, then, before the results are declared, you see people showing their true colors because man must win, woman <laughs> must win. Uh, <laughs> how do we marry the two? Are we, is it enough to say, I pledge to peace and actually not work towards achieving peace no it's not enough mm. that is how you are the watchdogs you you have the cameras <clears throat> everywhere mm. and then following the politicians activities and doings and so we shouldn't be saying something and walking a different talk mm. we are commit once we come here to commit fortunately my boss uh, the deputy minister honorable pius and mm. i'm mm. was here mm. and uh pledged our commitment of the government and and the party right. uh, to this course mm. and we stand to lose everything if we are in government and then people misbehave and misconduct mm -hmm. themselves and there's no peace in the country. Mm -hmm. The president is committed to a, a peaceful uh, election right. uh, this year. He said so and, mm -hmm. and we are committed to that. So I believe you should follow us and then mm -hmm. name and shame, you mm -hmm. get it. If our conduct in any way Sent, uh, seem to portray that mm. we are actually saying one thing and doing the uh, contra, uh, then you expose us. But mm. we, I know the leadership of my party, right. the chairman, the general secretary, uh, and then the government, we are all committed to mm. a peaceful uh, election. The president made a call that all of us should heed the decision of the electoral commission and go, you know, the registration process, it starts with the registration process. Right. And right. I know for a fact, NADMO is put, the man-made department is put a program mm -hmm. in 
place to see how we can get the peop the public okay. to know that the possibility of violence is not good for all of mm. us. You get it? And mm. so we are also doing uh, our part. We tie it into what you're doing and then the EC itself and the president's call to all of us. Let's hit uh, a smooth process okay. up to the election. Great. December 7 will come and go. Ghana yeah. will be there. Ghana will be there. Ghana will be there. We will be here as well. We don't have a rep from the NDC as yet. When we do, we'll find a chair for him or her to <laughs> ventilate their views as well. But you can always join us with your thoughts and comments. 02021 That's 02021 Please join us uh, on Facebook as well. It's live TV3 uh, GH and uh, it's, it's live. So you can actually watch it out out there. But yesterday in Parliament, while the debate for the State of the Nation address began, the, the minority in Parliament stuck to their stance. They had earlier walked out singing the refrain of the national anthem and help us to resist the press's role. Now, they walked out, but we're told that they came for their refreshment later on. Some say they didn't. <laughs> then they held a press conference mm -hmm. stating a litany of uh, you know, reasons why they they weren't interested in the State of the Nation address. They stated tyranny, they stated lack of press freedom, they stated uh, disrespect for them, they stated the non-payment of, uh, what do you call it, um, common fund, and many other things. And they're saying that in the run-up to such a big election, it was enough for, for the government to pause and listen. So yesterday, two, two members from the side of the majority actually uh, proposed and seconded, Kojo Ponkrumah and uh, CSP proposed and seconded the debate for, for the SONA. Uh, Alaji Muntaka Mubarak, who was the chief whip, said, well, we are not interested. As a matter of principle, most of our members on the side, uh, even though the speaker had given indication that it should, uh, they should participate, they said, well, we won't participate on the note of principle and that our points must be heard first. Is the minority doing wrong or right? Um, I thought it was needless. Mm. I thought the walkout was uh, not important. They could have made their case anyway. Okay. Uh, after uh, sitting down, allowing His Excellency to come in, okay. and then walking out uh, was a uh, very uh, unfortunate sight to behold. I wasn't too excited. Uh, but having said that, they actually walked out, and then thereafter, uh, what I also heard mm -hmm. were the others, and now they are, we are being told uh, they say they are not going to participate in the debating process. Mm -hmm. uh, I think they, they, we know in the political parlance that the majority, uh, the minority will have their say mm -hmm. and the majority will we'll have, have their way. way. Right. But they want to state their uh, uh, issue in a different manner mm -hmm. by stamping that indeed they have. Uh, reason uh, not to participate. Well, let's allow them to vent their uh, uh, anger and disapproval and dissatisfaction of certain things. But I disagree with them. Mm. I disagree with them that this president is a very a consummate uh, Democrat. But it falls and within their rights. Yes, to, yes, I respect to them. To stage a walkout, no, no, to refuse to participate yes, in the debate. Yes, mm. I respect them uh, for that. Mm. And uh, I would have been uh, surprised I would have been surprised if they had, you know, participated uh, in the debating processes because uh, it would have been uh, serious that you are not ready to sit down and listen to His Excellency, uh, the President. You are not ready to listen to him, and yet you are ready and willing to uh, participate in the uh, debating processes. I, I thought that the majority leader had said that, well, uh, anybody is free to debate yes. the, the, uh, the statement, even though they were not present to hear. Yes, of course. They were, I know they went uh, in chambers, uh, into their offices mm -hmm. and watched it on television, mm -hmm. and, and I believe uh, that would have informed uh, the opposition. You know that for a fact. <laughs> you, know, you know that for a fact. <laughs> Oh, Johnny, you know, you know. I'm, I'm asking you. You, you know that for <laughs> The whole thing bothers on them and okay. the nation, and mm. they are the key people given the responsibility to so discuss mm. matters right. uh, of the state. Okay. You get it? And mm -hmm. so it will be uh, inappropriate for any honorable member of parliament, right. in spite of their uh, disagreement with the president coming in uh, as of the time, not to follow at, at all. Okay. You get it? Mm. What happens if the mi minority leader decides? And 
the party decides that let's engage in the debate and you didn't even follow anything. You get it. Mm -hmm. And so they will prepare them, put themselves in readiness for a possibility of engaging in a debate. But, 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 the, but there's always, always the hands that that gives you the full yes, detail. Yes, no, but it's good to follow through okay. immediately and then you don't know when okay. you'll be called to, okay. you know, you know, okay. by Tuesday uh, after the I hear this you. thing. So, yes, uh, I think they have their, uh, their right but to But you so think they did behave. wrong? Yeah, it's inappropriate. It's so it was disrespectful uh, to the president and the people of this country. Okay. I've been joined also by the uh, Honorable Mohammed Abdulaziz, the Member of Parliament for the Mion constituency. His one is primaries one more time, so hopefully he gets to represent his people if he doesn't get stiff competition. <laughs> we are welcome. taking the seat. Thank you very much. <laughs> your, seat is, your seat is under threat. Yeah. Oh no, yeah. my seat is uh, an short seat for the NDC and for President Mahama. I, I think that the 2016 was even more uh, challenging uh, than what I anticipated in 2020. Okay. But I don't want to be complacent in my actions and utterances, mm. so I would give it my best fight. Mm. And um, I'm very, I'm very certain. I'm very certain. Okay. I have gauged the MPP. I okay. have gauged their campaigns. Uh, the issues that they are actually talking about will not win anyone a parliamentary seat. Okay. But uh, um, let's wait till uh, December. So but I'm, December. I'm very, I'm very, I'm okay. very certain that my. You mean you have party. seen the candidate and you are not too oh, sure if. No, I, I, yes, I have, I have gauged my, my, my opponent and, mm. um, and his party. Um, and I'm very certain that myself and my party structures will retain the seat with a wider margin. The last time was about some, some 6,000 votes difference. Okay. It is our intention to be able to do some 10,000 votes, votes difference. And um, I'm very sure we'll be able to hit that target. Okay. Uh, Happy New Year to you, by the way. Yeah. Why did so, you, why did you walk out, first of all, because... I was in Parliament last Thursday. Okay. The conversation is that, yes, we welcome the president. You walked out to state your claim to a number of issues. Yeah. And then the indication I picked was that you will still go back and de debate because it is your right so to do. Now, the debate starts and we can't find you. You are seated there, but you say you will keep quiet <laughs> and not debate. Who does that? Uh, Johnny, like you indicated, when we walked out on the 20th of uh, February, mm -hmm. we immediately organized a press uh, conference right. uh, to speak to the media and the Ghanaian public why we were unable to listen to the president mm -hmm. because he has refused to listen to us. And uh, we didn't see why we should uh, dignify him with our presence to listen to him mm -hmm. when he has indicated uh, uh, clearly that he wasn't ready uh, to listen to, to us. Mm -hmm. And so we have gone past that stage. Um, Indeed, when we walked out, the indication from some colleagues of ours in the chamber was that because we walked out, we were not uh, uh, eligible or, if you like, mm. qualified to, 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 to debate the issues. And we made them to understand that was wrong. We could debate in it. Mm. But as a caucus, we have decided that we will not uh, engage in the debate. Why we not? We would not. Your constituents uh, most, won't be happy with the you. The most important thing is for us to be able to communicate with the Ghanaian public our position on the on the state of the nation mm. and uh, <laughs> there are many avenues that we can uh, employ mm. to be able to engage the Ghanaian uh, uh, media and the Ghanaian public and we'll do that at the appropriate time um, through our leadership and okay. so um, um, and we should not behave as if this is the first time that um, a caucus has refused to listen to a president or even debate mm. what we are seeing today happened clearly in 2013 we are not repeating what they did but we are taking our action based on principle. Mm -hmm. And um, no. I don't know what makes our colleagues think that, our colleagues in MPP think that the presidency of Nana Akufuado is superior to that of President Mahama. Or is it because they think that they are, they are the real owners of Ghana? They say this is uh, needless. If this is needless, was it needful in 2013? They walked out on President Mahama. They refused to, deb to debate his sonar. Mm -hmm. They were in the chamber. So what makes them suddenly think that what we are doing is wrong and inappropriate? to uh, quote his works. When you did that to President Mahama, led by Chairman said there was nothing wrong with they, it. They had a court case. They, they, they were challenging the see, legitimacy of the presidency see, of You can have reasons for whatever you do. You can have reasons for whatever you do. You can have reasons for whatever you do. Right. We have also assigned cogent reasons for what we have done. Okay. You see, whether they were challenging the legitimacy of President Mahama or not, mm. this is a man who was duly elected and okay. sworn in. Mm. Mm? in consonance with our constitution okay. and that until until there was an overturn of that of that resource
he was uh, duly elected uh, lawfully. And so whether you were challenging his uh, presidency or not does not arise. Uh, why do you think that you guys had a reason to walk out on him and to also boycott the debate and that we don't have that right? So this what is makes you better than this? No, I am only bringing in that analogy okay. for our colleagues to understand that you do something and you think that's right. When another person does seem with a different reason, you think that's wrong. Okay. What makes President Akufuado a superior president than President Mahama? Is, is what that makes, the inference you draw? You see, or, or is it just a matter see, of principle? You see, their, 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 their posture is that when it is down to President Mahama, it is normal. We had a reason. Mm -hmm. When it is down to President, <laughs> president Akufuado, it is inappropriate and that we disrespected the, the Ghanaian public. Did you disrespect the Ghanaian public in 2013? Is it just about the what two is gentlemen? What is good for the Ghana? Is it just about the two gentlemen it who have not. become president no, before? No, no. Or is it about the citizens? It's, because it's, the president it's, listed a number of things. Yes. I mean, education, economy, infrastructure and development, security, entertainment and arts, tourism, so long. Now, if you fail to debate this, won't it be disadvantageous to oh. your constituents, for example? The purpose of the debate is to bring to bear the view of the minority in parliament and for that matter, the NDC. And I've told you that we have several uh, platforms yesterday, uh, my senior you, colleague, uh, 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 Eric, mm. uh, MP for Isunafu, right? right? And uh, Honorable Adongo um, had some engagement of a sort at the party level. I am very certain mm -hmm. that the minority as a caucus will also engage. And that is the purpose of whatever we do. Look. So you present your it, own seat what, to the nation address? What is, that what is it saying? that the president did? Would you pre pre present your own seat to the nation address? I don't want to preempt what the caucus will do in okay. the next few days. Okay. Um, that would not be fair on my part. But I'm saying. But it's a I'm possibility. Saying, I'm saying. What is it that the president said that myself and you don't know already? What is it that he said? That he'll come and 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 hype the plenty for food and jobs. He would take personal credit for the, the, the peace in Dagbon. Uh, he would create some um, nice picture about the economy. When indeed myself and you know that what the president said on the floor of parliament does not reflect the feeling of the ordinary Ghanaian. In fact, the ordinary Ghanaian knows the status of, of our country, even than myself and President Akufuado. And like I said very soon, we would engage with you would engage with, 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 with the electorate okay. so that you can know the real state of the, of, the, of, the, of the economy. Okay. But my worry is that our colleagues, even though they have told us on several occasions that they are the real owners of Ghana, uh, yeah, GMI, and uh, you remember the South African uh, ambassador, Ghana ambassador to South Africa, mm -hmm. who had also indicated that they are better Ghanaians than any other. I mean, so you can see it in their thinking when it is done by them. When they do it, it is correct. When any other group does it, it's wrong. What kind of what kind of exaggerated self 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 opinion okay, is that? Thank you, George. I saw you writing uh, a thing or two. Let me give you a minute, and then I'll give uh, Mo a minute as well. Then yeah. we will move on to something uh, Johnny, else. Johnny, yeah. it saddens my heart when I hear the minority members speak the way he just did. On, on uh, I begin to feel, forgive my choice of word. Uh, it's like inferiority complex. I'm sorry. Okay, no Ghanaian is more Ghanaian than the other. And His Excellency the President has not made any such intimation anywhere. Neither has any of us. You said it rightly that we had petitioned the Supreme Court of Ghana that the election of His Excellency President Mahama uh, had questioned and we thought was not legit. And so we were coming before them to adjudicate on that. Okay, and so until that is done, we refuse to accept that he is the legitimately elected president. No, there are some but, but they're saying that no, the, the principle is that if you do it, it is right. If somebody no, else does no. it, it is wrong. We are basis for that, okay? And correct me if I'm wrong. Okay. I don't remember our members going to the house and walking out. He is there, so he could help me. Yeah, I thought they didn't even go. I thought they didn't even go at did. all. Okay, and so that was the grounds. Okay, the the arguments they are making until when the moment the Supreme Court gave its ruling, uh, our candidate then. Uh, pres uh, now President, mm. His Excellency Nana Adudan Kwekufuado, took a phone, congratulated uh, the President, then former President uh, John Mahama. Mm. Okay? And thereafter, we started doing everything and paying uh, obeisance to him as the President of the land. Right, But between the time of the court listing 
until August when a ruling was given. We thought he was now the legitimate president, right? So, okay. uh, so we so had the, the basis for, yes. Okay. Now, we, we, no, we, we said he wasn't. No, we didn't, forgive me, my choice of We that's, said he wasn't elected properly. That, that's now, point of come to, yes, come to this one. Look at what they are saying. That is a tyrant, he's stifling media freedom. I don't get it. Somebody said, listen, mm. we are in Africa. Eh? You say your life is at risk. You leave this country after giving us uh, militia in the heart of the sea. I think after today, Manasseh, my good friend, my critical yeah. colleague, should apologize to this government. Uh, media commission is giving the ruling. Then you travel outside. Two weeks, you come back. You are here. You still say anything and everything every day. Nobody is haunting your life. In, under the same precedent. And you say he's a tyrant? Come on, let's raise the bar. Okay, let's raise Mo, the bar. Mo, take a, a, a rebuttal quickly and then see, let's move it on is to, interesting. to something else. It says you're painting a that, wrong picture. That you don't even have a fair and a full account of what happened in 2013. You walked into the chamber and you walked out. That is a walkout and not a boycott. You did exactly what we did. But you see, so in their case, you see, uh, what you guys are suffering from. Leader of also welcomed the president. Exactly. Okay. What you guys did. Mm -hmm. And like I said, your posturing, what you are suffering from, is some exaggerated self-opinion. And that is bad. Look, you say you were contesting the legitimacy of President Mahama. Mm -hmm. Did you debate his budget or not? You did. In that budget statement, mm -hmm. that minister, Saitekwe, presented on behalf of President Mahama. It included emoluments for members of parliament from your side. Did you enjoy that salary? even when you did not accept his presidency, did you? We did. Mm -hmm. And so, when it's about coming to debate his sonar, you don't recognize him, and so that's why you stayed off. And yet, you enjoyed your salaries and any other emoluments that he presented to, to Parliament from January to August. What a contradiction. So then, ah, and what, so then, what, so then, what, so then, what is this? So what, Mo, what is this? Mo, Mo, so that's only what I've told Mo, you. Mo, so then, my, is what Mo, 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 so then my question will come. You are so did, did the, did the I, I, I hear you loud and clear. Please, my, but my question then will be, <laughs> did the president stop listening to you only in 2019, in the run-up to 2020? Because you have also yes. debated this, so now listening to him, 2017, 2018. 2019, then in 2020, you said no. Did he stop listening to you in 2019? Oh, you see, we gave him the benefit of the doubt, thinking that President Akufado would uh, change his ways. Uh, he's serving his last term. Some of the <coughs> developments that we are seeing today did not happen in 2017, 2018, and 2019. Like this intransigence position of the EC. It's a new thing on the <laughs> table, right? That they would at all costs compile a new register. That has a tacit approval of, of the president and his party. 64.9% and so, oh, of the Oh, my, 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 yes. my, oh, oh, take it easy. Take it easy. You see, that, that report, Sorry about that. that report that we are talking about is fake. Mm. That report from the political science department is fake. Wow. I have seen the questionnaire. Okay, thank there you. Was no, there was nothing thank about, you. about, thank about you. it. Let's, let's make I have progress. seen the questionnaire. Great Don't worry. Let's, when you have your, when you have your, 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 your see. let's make when progress. Your real reports. <laughs> when you have your assigns <laughs> at the political science department of Lagos, uh, where the Mensa and University uh, of Ghana Asari thank you. are coming from. The Premier mm? University. Thank you. Thank you very much. Page 16. Page 16 of the Ghanaian Times. And you can always join us. 020 Three interesting conversations. Sorry about that. I was coughing earlier. Apologies for that. Now, the economic economic hardship high in the country, according to Dr. Kwachi, Dr. Kwachi uh, says that there's a widespread feeling of that the economic hardship in the, is high in the ec country since the restoration of the microeconomics stability has not trickled down to uh, people's pockets. Dr. John Kwachi is the director of research at the Institute of Economic Affairs, IEA, he said. Now, he said also in the State of the Nation address uh, delivered by the president, through the president, though the president painted a good picture of national issues, realities on the grounds most often depict otherwise, adding that though uh, microeconomics, macroeconomic stability in general was good for both business and households, <laughs> the benefits formally or normally uh, take time to be felt. And Dr. Kwachi made the observation during a media briefing in Accra yesterday to share his views on the sooner with the public with regard to realities on the ground. And the researcher said that though the government inherited depressed and destabilized economy in the last three years, 
It has returned the economy to growth and stability in the face of high hardship in the country, uh, propelled by other economic factors. George, I start with you. So our books look good. We are getting all the best ratings. The, the question I've been asking, which AMSA are more getting is, is our economy pocket friendly? Dr. Kwachi is repeating the same thing that, look, on paper it looks good. When we, we look at the figures, it looks good. The economics, I mean, if we're sitting for any economics exam, we will pass on paper. But on the ground, are we winning? Yeah, uh, Johnny, I'm excited when members of academia uh, join the discourse uh, on economic programs and policy debates. Mm. And it's important because they bring the academic experience and uh, others to bear right. on the process of their engagement. So mm. I'm happy, and we all know Dr. Kwachi is yeah. one person who doesn't shy away uh, from speaking on a national issue, especially bothering on the economy. Mm -hmm. And so I'm happy he's come out to do that. Johnny, uh, in the free, when you're trying to have economic transformation, the macro indicators are very important, and mm. they serve as the basis of the foundations upon which you're going to put the superstructure. Mm. Right. And so you need to have a firm, solid foundation. Mm. And, and I make the argument that if you're telling me the ma macro does not translate into the pocket or right. others, I disagree. Because if, Why do you disagree? Yes, if average interest rate, if the prime rate as of the time we're taking over was about 25.5%, and today is 16%, okay? Mm. If the average interest rate as of 2016, mm. when we were, you know, uh, coming to take over in 2017, okay. was 32%, <laughs> and today is 23.6%. If inflation was 15.4%, and today is 7.8%, okay? And these are all uh, 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 indicators that affect the individual directly, especially the business people. If a businessman is borrowing mm. and the rate is high, mm. it stifles his opportunities to expand his business and employ more people. Okay, but if the interest rate is low, then it gives him room to be able to the, grow the, the business. The ordinary Ghanaian will say, we don't nah. use the figures. Don't worry. That's all. No, what we, do you say? No, we eat. <clears throat> we eat. The, that's what I'm explaining to you. If the rate at which uh, there's rise in the cost of ice water right. or products is low. That's actually Ghanaian chocolate. Yeah, Ghanaian, that's good. Yeah. It's, it's okay. lowered. Then, if the doom saw is not happening, over a three-year period, consistently as it used to. You get it. And there, business there, there people... There are new complaints. I'm don't sorry, worry. I, I, we have the reasons for that. Uh, <laughs> no, no. And, and it's a legit... It's Jermaine. It's Jermaine, okay? About cleaning the, the cleaning the gas pipelines, okay. okay? And then fixing the reverse something. You know, the works in Tema recently. Right. They just finished. Right. Okay? And it takes some time before you tie so, it... So that's why the lights have been group. going on. No, all, yeah, they're giving... And they have brought some you know, arrangements in. So these are matters that we need to know. And again, look, any parent who aspires or intends to leave a, a, a property for his children, okay? A good father is one who leaves an inheritance yeah, his yeah. Uh, child and children's children to the third or tenth generation, right? Mm. Okay, if that be the case, in the process of doing that, sometimes you need to make some sacrifices. Mm. And the planting season, you don't get enough food to eat as like, you know, the harvest time. Mm. And so in the planting processes, we made some sacrifices. And the dividends of these sacrifices will then rebound. When, when is the harvest season? Oh, that, uh, we are gradually cruising there. You get mm. it. Cra you your, know, the your, kind of the number of people that the your NAPO, man, your mandate over is hundred ending. don't worry, over hundred thousand people, young unemployed graduates who have been given job opportunities, nurses who had completed school. You, you mean from NAPCO? To, yes, NAPCO. did NAPCO take hundred thousand? Yes, yes, I yes. thought that the figure was short. Here, no, the nine, figure nine, was nine, short of, nine, of ninety-seven thousand plus. You know, but that's not hundred thousand. No, it's so, hundred. So, Mathematically, it's hundred. Okay, you are rounding that up. I tell. To the, the closest, to the closest decimal point. <laughs> <laughs> to the nearest home. Right? Yeah. The nearest home. So these are things, and those young people will be excited. Mm. Those that completed nursing college from 2012 to 2016 mm. and have been given jobs and station, they will be excited. Okay, so, so these mm. are things that gradually will 
dovetail into the opportunities, okay. and then companies will expand and grow. So, so here, and, here, and, and here, the Moody's and Co. The yeah. books must look good before you know right. it translate. But right now, the last one. The last X months, I keep saying. No, I wanted that. to ask you a question yes, actually. Okay, so, Doctor Kwache said that the government's revenue was being consumed by social intervention programs okay. and other expenditures. The okay. situation left virtually nothing for capital and other spending, which have to be financed by borrowing. He yeah. said it was no gain saying that the government has spent a lot on social intervention programs. Yeah. However, since roads were not were more visible than human capital, the deficit has generated widespread discontent, compelling the government to do something urgently this year to show up the political fortunes by declaring it the year of roads. Is that what you're doing? No, but definitely social interventionist programs that we've rolled out, who are the beneficiaries? Mm. They are the people of this country, okay? If health insurance is going well, it's the people that benefit. Right. Free SHS is direct benefit to the people. NAPCO, direct benefit to the people. Mm -hmm. And this year, we've declared the year of roads. And we are rolling out a lot of road projects. Okay. Okay? It's important. And they all help in shoring up the economic growth of the country. Mm -hmm. right? And so uh, I, I agree. He's, as I say, me, I respect the academia okay. when they come into these matters. And okay. they give us good issues to discuss, okay. not propaganda. You, you were telling me about Christmas. What about Christmas? Yeah, last year. You you saw it. I said in the last 10 years, I've not seen a crowd choked like it happened the last time. I know a uh, year of return plus. And if you tell me, you, you want to assume some, that some those, people said all you, those some people... Some people said you bust people. <laughs> like you accused the end of busting people to the independent square. Did you bust people? Oh, Johnny. Did you bust <laughs> people? I don't know. That's what they are saying. People left their homes for window shopping, right? Yeah, yeah. And the traffic, all the vehicles. Come on. In the last 10 years, I've not seen a crowd choked yeah. uh, pre Xmas like it happened. And I tell you, it's good news. There's a, if I were in the position, yeah. I'll rethink and re-strategize properly. Okay. Because this government is on course and the people are satisfied. I hear you. Though there's more room for improvement. I hear you. Mo, the, the good doctor is saying that there's economic hardship in the country in spite of the good figures on our books. Uh, what say you <laughs> that, they, in fact, we're using our revenue to do social interventions and it's not giving ch a chance for us to do capital investments and others? And so George says that, well, the social interventions are being benefited by the people and so they are affecting the people's lives properly. Johnny, you see, you can only improve the living conditions of the people when you are able to generate the job that they need and enhance people's income. And the MPP manifesto that won them power, mm. Mm? Mm -hmm. that was signed by then uh, Mr. Akufuado and Mr. Blay, okay. was titled Agenda for Jobs. Mm -hmm. And in that document, they had promised to move us from taxation to, to production. Absolutely. They had promised to establish a factory in a district. Yeah. As at that time, we had about 260, now, now we have about 260. Yeah. I can tell you, and the figures will speak to that, that instead of generating jobs, mm -hmm. they are rather collapsing jobs under their watch. Mm -hmm. How on earth would you convince me that living conditions of Ghanaians are getting better and that you are generating jobs? Haven't you seen the figures? When indeed, when indeed, you have closed down media houses. These media houses, when you close them down, it means that people who work in those media houses are laid off. They have no any means of livelihood again. That's what we did under your watch. Several media houses, and you are still doing more. You have come to collapse banks under the disguise of uh, cleaning the banking, the banking sector. Look, about 347 microfinance companies have been collapsed, mm -hmm. at least an average number of employees mm. in a microfinance company is more than 100. Mm. You have gone to close down about 347 of them. Mm. You have collapsed banks, savings and loans companies, and you think living conditions will get better? Do that cannot be. Dr. Kwachi says, Dr. Kwachi uh, says that no. the banking sector cleanup has shown marked improvement after the cleanup exercise, see, despite the more, fact that the mm -hmm. issue mm -hmm. could have been handled differently to maintain indigenous ownership presence, as well as save the colossal sum from the taxpayers' exactly. kitty that was used exactly. to save the process. Sum. And that yes. has been the argument of the minority. But it had to be done. But it had to be done. But it could have been a more responsible way of doing but it. But it Let had me to tell be done. Non-performing loans. Mm -hmm. It's on, on the increase. Even after the so-called banking sector cleanup, 
non performing loans is on the increase. They say you Johnny, supervise Let it. me come. You no, supervise the let collapse. Us get, I don't want us to deviate into did the you, banking. Did you supervise the collapse? Johnny, living conditions <laughs> of Ghanaians. Today, he can answer. Today, a liter of petrol that sold for 3.6 Ghana cities under true. President Mahama in December today goes for 5.4. It's not true. Was it 3.6? It was 3.8, right? <laughs> well, Let's even say four Ghana cities. Oh, seven, six, six, Mark, take it easy. It. Okay. I would even yeah. grant you four Ghana cities. Yeah. Today, a litre goes for 5.4 Ghana cities. Mm. <laughs> the city that used to exchange to about um, dollar city was about um, 3.98. No, 4.2. Today, it's about 5.5 under your watch. <laughs> you see? <laughs> These I'm are the figures. very issues that we are talking about. Yeah, Johnny, let me again tell you that when you have 123 ministers, mm. And yet we are unable to deliver even a single classroom block. Mm -hmm. Wow. A chips compound. Sure. And you say we are performing. <laughs> but, Look. The but the oh, classroom blocks Johnny. are being shown to us. You're not seeing some. You'll be Johnny, shocked. Johnny, <laughs> this is a government that received about 20 uh, yeah. billion Ghana cities from uh, the oil sector. Okay. Yes. They have gone to borrow about 120 billion Ghana cities. Right. Hey. And yet myself and you cannot see a single <laughs> senior high school that they have built that is functioning. Okay. Good. Look, when the yeah, vice president was here, worry, is it oh, take it easy. <laughs> when you talk yeah, about just social minute, so read the messages. Just one minute. Uh -huh. mm. Just one minute. Right. <laughs> NAPCO, yes. an extended national service. You collapse sustainable jobs, and you want us to believe that you have created jobs through NAPCO? Who okay. wants to leave a banking sector to go and do NAPCO? Who wants to do that? Is that what you promised the people of... of, of of this country, a dead banking sector. You guys sector. are jokers. Dead? You guys are jokers. Wait, the jokers? banking sector was yes, dead. Are. Are you, you are. You are jokers. That wow. your only line <laughs> in job creation is NAPCO. Wow. Is that what you promised the youth of this country? Yes. When we have collapsed banks and, you know, and media houses. Fifty-eight, where one B one F are rolled out. That is out. not true. Fifty-eight. Rolled that is out. not true. You doubt the figures. That is not true. <laughs> Let me tell you. One in, village, one dam. Let me there. tell you. Under President Mahama, <laughs> when the current minority leader was the minister. For trade and industry, uh, we extended support about 20 to 50 million Ghana cities. Oh, I can't remember on, to stop the stop pharmaceutical that, stop companies. That. Stop that. Mm. That was support to them. <laughs> it didn't mean that we established them. <laughs> so when you give some support of one million Ghana cities to a company and you go and label it one D one F, is that what wow. you promise us? Wow. Okay. <laughs> is that <laughs> what you promise yes. us? Yes. Thank you. Yes. Wow. is here. Wow. Exeter, wow. what are they saying? Yes, are, 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 are they on WhatsApp? Um, wow. Prince Henry writes to us from Kofuria. Yes, says, good morning, you Johnny. I want to congratulate MG for taking the lead in launching the Your Elections Command Center ahead of 2020 elections. I want to urge the EC to listen to the overwhelming Ghanaians who are speaking against the compilation of the new voters register to the run of uh, the 2020 general elections. We need peace, and I pledge for peace. Good morning, TV3, and a very good morning to the PC for the Tolon constituency, uh, Mr. Mohammed Zakaria. Media general over the past has been known for the credible reportage and quality content it always gives to its viewers and listeners. We expect once again another credible report this year. Thank you so much, Abdul Razak. Uh, this one says, Johnny, with the issue of minority not taking part uh, in the SONA debate, they can even leave the country without <laughs> NDC. Ghana will still remain Ghana. With the issue of the new voters register, NDC can decide to tell their members not to register being a registered voter. It's not by force. NDC should understand simple issues. Me and uh, I am waiting for the registration to start. I'm going to register my 10 children. And we are all voting for Nanado. This is from Mohammed Ibrahim from Yendi. Good morning, Johnny. The decision of the minority, I believe, was on court for. But let's uh, remember that it won't be the first in this country. Let's just move on because there are a lot uh, to discuss in this country. This government is not working their talk. Aram, Adenta News site. Hi, Johnny. Hmm. Don't mind the minority. I believe they are suffering from opposition sickness. They actually disrespected their founding father and their various constituencies for snubbing the state of the nation address. Opposition will remain their portion. Honorable Madam Amen. Felicia Tete for uh, Sagnerigu constituency. This is from Ibrahim from Sagnerigu. This one says, hello, Johnny. Tell the MPP man sitting there that the, uh, if he was to be experiencing same, he wouldn't have said the, their work out was needless. They are always arrogant in communication and actions tell them uh, the hand that gives you power, that same hand will bring you home. Hashtag rescue mother Ghana. Uh, this is from Bullets at Contombra, Western North. Uh, this one is from Charles Nyame from Asaman Kese. The minority 
who has always demonstrated beyond doubt that they are fighting <coughs> for their interests of Ghanaians to so engage in debates of a sonar which likely contradicts the reality of lives of the people. Good morning, TV3. The minority did the right thing by highlighting the rot in this MPP government. PDS Ahmed Swale, voters register as some few evil being perpetrated by this incompetent government. This is from Kokuvi Wager. Good morning, Johnny. Please tell Honorable Abdul Aziz that we, the youth of Ghana, we are very proud of him and his submission is very fantastic. But Johnny, please advise the EC the date they schedule for the registration exercise will not favor me, we, the Muslims in Ghana. We are starting our fasting in April and I beg the EC to postpone it to next year. Greetings goes to Ibrahim Constituency Chairman al Haji Nuruddin and NDC <laughs> Parliamentary Aspirants, Honorable Mavis, Amma Frimpong. Uh, this one says, uh, from Fuseni, uh, it says, uh, Good morning, Johnny and your panelists. Johnny, those MPP members and their leadership have no respect for anyone apart from their own. Uh, good morning. Good morning, Johnny. I hope you haven't traveled to China in the recent past as you come. <laughs> May the Lord bless you. <laughs> this one is, for Christ's sake. <laughs> For Christ's sake, why are my messages not being read? Oh, we are reading it now. Anyway, the MPP did not inherit a, a bad economy. Dr. Baumier's true soreness attests to that. Uh, Yehuza Tamale. Good morning, Johnny. What difference will debating Sona bring to voters? Patrick Anamo. Uh, this one says, we the electorate know how we are suffering in Nanado government. 2020 is just at the corner. We will show the exits from Lukman Tamale. This one is from Jonathan, Central Region. My Two questions are to the NADMO PRO uh, man there, Mr. EC. One, when are NADMO staff going to be promoted? I know a lot of NADMO staff in the community, uh, communities and districts who have been complaining that since they joined NADMO, they have not been promoted or upgraded, and that uh, many of them have been working for 12, 10, 8, 6 years wow. without promotion, absolutely without nothing. They are where they are since they entered NADMO, and it is the promotion that will push their income up a little bit. Some are entitled to single promotion, some double promotion, and some triple promotion. Number Number two, and that when are you fully and completely implementing the new NADMO <laughs> Act so they can enjoy all the benefits and allowances, especially rents and other allowances? Thank you, Mr. NADMO, <laughs> gentleman. Okay, and this is from uh, John Arthur. Thank you very much. Yes. Uh, let's, let's, let's start. Uh, George, take, take a bite on this one quickly. Uh, why are you not promoting your people? You no, are, you're proceed, a big man at yeah, that moment. Yeah. Before I proceed, uh, today I understand is the birthday of the Honorable Minister for Regional Reorganization. Oh. Because the Honorable Dambo Chair. And Development. MP, regional yes, Reorganization. And, and Development. And Minister for what? MP for uh, Regional Reorganization okay. and Development. Are we reorganizing our audience again? No, don't but, worry. but yeah. when you, you when finish, finish you need to follow uh -huh. up and, uh -huh. and well, develop. Don't worry, <laughs> let's finish. But uh, you want the person to do his job. Don't <laughs> just enlighten me. It's his birthday. It's MP for okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 that's yeah. that's my hometown. Oh, that's your hometown. That's my place. But I was born and bred in Asamanke. Okay, so former general secretary of the NPP, Mr. Dan Kweku, but you're my namesake. Yeah. Happy birthday to you, uh, yeah. General. That's what yeah. the party calls you. Yeah, <laughs> uh, on the uh, promotions and co is something that when we came, we got a lot of complaints about. My Director General, the Honorable Eric Nanajiman Prempe, is tasked some consultants uh, to work on the <clears throat> complete structure of NADMO. Our structure is some way. You get it. And so he starts them to restructure how, how them. Some way? So the Public Services Commission. We, we've, we've had complaints where somebody with a master's degree is at times below somebody with a secondary. Uh, how, how is that possible? Day. I mean, it's there. And sometimes we had complaints that sometimes, like, when I look at your face and your face is good, maybe I may. We had those complaints there. That's the political it, inclusion. It's, it's, it's Party boys and girls. <laughs> You always have yes, it's true. This. You know, and, I mean, and, and, I know and that, that is how NDC and would disagree. But yeah. no, 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 I'm, I'm not going to discount that. Okay, and so that's why the new director general said, no, let's get consultants to do proper thing, and right. they are working on it. Okay. We've had some workshops and co on this, and they've briefed us where they've got it to. Okay. Once it's done, it's submitted to Public Services Commission. When it's accepted and co, then we can rule out. But in the meantime, uh, we are doing what we can to get those who have. Adieu right. to 
get promoted to right. their various uh, levels. So it's gradually being rolled out. So when are they supposed to for? see light at the end of the tunnel? Uh, as ongoing, we're hoping that once the consultants finish with their work, you know, and Public Services Commission accepts uh, the recommendation or the there work. There are no timelines. You are not yeah. giving me timelines. I, I, like cannot, timelines. I cannot give you timeline now, but I know they are working the seriously. Of the year. I cannot stick my neck you out. You won't say it. Yeah, I can't stick you won't my say it. I don't want to give false hope to the people. You get it? I'm the mouthpiece of the okay. organization. Okay. And I must speak uh, with the facts okay. uh, so that no, they no, are assured. Okay. Number two, yeah. they're asking uh, when you are implementing the new NADMO Act. Oh, it's... it's, it's so they can it, enjoy the no, benefits, no, it's especially in the process. It's rent part. allowance. <laughs> A risk, you know, risk allowance is the main right. part. And, and NADMO is disadvantaged when it comes to risk allowance mm. and co. You get it? You know, if somebody works with GBC, okay. uh, once upon a time, because of the rampant coup d'etats and co, uh, they, they gave them some risk allowance okay. and co. But not more people go into dangerous situation and co. And, and our risk allowance is near to nothing, almost. So that is all part of the package that is being worked on. Okay. Once it's done and accepted, uh, we are going to benefit from that. I see. Us. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yes, take a bite on this one. And by the way, I've not been to China. I don't have coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said we'll talk about Dominic Bruce. Yes, uh, I mean, I tell you, I tell you, I take a bite on the not more thing. Johnny, George has accepted that the, the, the structure is not, you know, what is not the best yeah. and they are working at it. So. Someone has just sent me a picture of a receipt okay. of fuel he bought in 2016. Okay. And I quoted 3.6 and I was being challenged by my colleague. You can have a look at this 3.53 a liter. Okay. In December 2016. I, I cannot immediately admit that. Exactly. exactly. Yeah, I have that. Let me tell you. No, Johnny. That, oh, Johnny. Oh, in December 2016, it was 17 cities in December. Oh. By 5th oh. January, oh. 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 George, allow, allow him to. Google it. Allow him one minute. Oh. Oh. It's unfair. Okay. Allow him one minute. I don't, I don't work at that moment. Okay. And so I wouldn't spend my time on that issue. Okay. He works there. He's a school person and should address it. But, Johnny, very. Quick issues. Yeah, one minute. You know why we are broke and that, you know why Ghanaians are complaining? No. The real state of our nation, the ordinary taxi driver mm -hmm. knows it more than President Akufuado. Don't worry. The ordinary Ghanaian who used to pay just one Ghana city for a bowl of kenke, mm -hmm. and now pays two cities for that same size of bowl of kenke, mm -hmm. knows that his condition has gone worse. fees is being I am telling taken you, care of by I am states. telling you, we are talking about a party <laughs> in government mm -hmm. that when they were in opposition, Prudential Bank had even had to write to them to come and settle a debt of one million Ghana cities. You had a Kenu Korea test you couldn't concern. pay. Today, it's a in, today, in 2019 December, yeah. every branch executive, every branch executive, over 30,000 police stations, and they have about five or six police station executives. Yeah. Each and every police station executive received an amount of 100 Ghana cities. For Christmas. Where did you get that? From? Oh, he can challenge me. He's here. Oh. He can challenge me. <laughs> Every person <laughs> executive <laughs> got George thousand Ghana the cities party, for Christmas. The party doesn't. You know how much. That could okay. Yeah, we'll raise Johnny, this Johnny, thank you. Oh, but your one minute is over. How do we run our campaign as political parties? Your one minute is over. Thank you. Say that we lost about nine billion Ghana cities. No, in 2017, 2018. He said the same. We're going to go. Thank you very much. Come on. Come on. Mr. George AC is the National Communications Director of the National Disaster Management Organization. George AC. He was here on the tickets of the NPP. Your candidate is the